On Sunday, you saw the excitement of Bianca Andreescu winning the Rogers Cup, and the whole country and the world saw it. And today, we're at the Ontario Racquet Club, where it all started. And she came in here as just a little kid who was really playing tennis for the first time, and her coach, right away, saw something special. I, I think uh, it's, a, it's a great achievement for, uh, for Canadian tennis. Uh, we have a lot of young rising stars and Bianca specifically, she's been working very hard for the last few years and uh, it's great to see uh, you know, her, her winning the Rogers Cup and uh, you know, uh, I'm sure she will, there will be many, many more. I call, you know, I always had a name for her, I call her the little girl with the big dreams. It just seems to me that she always um, wanted something more. I would definitely use uh, Bianca as a role model example for the older kids that I'm working with. Uh, I still work with a lot of young kids and uh, having our own Canadian player setting the standard uh, and being a role model uh, for my young players is for sure it's very, it's very important, it's, uh, you know, it's very motivating for them. So uh, my kids are very, very motivated now because we have a lot of young rising stars besides Bianca, we have Dennis, we have Felix, so there's a lot, they're setting uh, good standards and then, you know, examples. Uh, so I'm sure it's a great, exciting time for Canadian tennis, especially for a lot of young ones picking up the racket now. There are a whole new group of young players that are already inspired and now realize they can do it too. Yeah, it, like that was a huge deal. Um, I think especially for other girls like me who want to start playing tennis, I was like super happy for Bianca because she's um, so far six to zero uh, winning record against top ten opponents. And for someone like Serena, just how um, how amazing she is, like how her results that she's had and just who she is in general, like to be able to go up 3-1 in the first place, even if she was injured. Um, I think that's like really unreal in the finals of Rogers Cup in your hometown. Yeah, I think that was amazing. Again, it shows how much like they care for each other. Obviously on the court, they're like fierce competitors, but off the court, they, they show lots of gratitude and they have respect. You can see how much respect Bianca has for someone like Serena, because obviously she's one of the best players in history, and I think it was really great to see the connection they had. As you see all this youthful enthusiasm, at the end of the day, it's about talent and it's also about hard work. In the case of Bianca, hard work is what won out in the end. We have a new star in Canada, but the star worked hard right here at the Ontario Racquet Club to get it going. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Joe Warmington.